it's Jake from Team Insanity. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to start a team. Some people have been asking, um, some people at the field and other fields that we go and play at have been asking and wondering how to start a team. And uh, one person also asked if we can talk about how we ordered through Raza, that kind of stuff if you're looking for custom jerseys, custom headbands, shirts, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of advice I guess you can say about it um so let's get started in the video the first thing is as a team just pick up some of your most favorite friends alright that's the easiest way to start that's how Jacob and I um, really started it off and Nick that's how we really started we didn't really just I didn't go out to the field and recruit random people the reason why you're gonna wanna um, be with your friends Biggest reason why is you're going to be spending a lot of time with these people, all right? You're going to want to spend a lot of time with these people. So if you go off recruiting someplace and you're just picking up some of the best players, but, you know, you don't clash with them that good and then you're just, you know, you're arguing all the time, stuff like that, you're going to have, you know, a big argumentative team, I guess you can say. It's not going to go smooth, um, I guess you can say that. So just pick some of your best friends and just start off with that. Just start small. You don't really have to go big right as you start. You don't have to go and play a crap ton of tournaments when you first start. Just kind of get known a little bit. Go out to your field. Wear some custom jerseys. Go to your pro shop or order online. People like um, ANS Gear, Hustle Paintball, um, places like that. They have some blowout clearance jerseys. I know I got a JT jersey for five bucks and some JT pants for $15 all matching so $20 and I could be matching with anyone else and that's what we did we actually started with Velk and stuff didn't need anything too special anything like that and that's how we started out Jacob and I started matching Nick eventually hopped on and we were just spending a lot of time with each other hanging out doing some practices and just getting to meet some people and as time progressed there was other people at the field Doug, Pierre and Tusky, okay, Mike Tusky. And as time went on, they figured out, hey, these guys are pretty cool to hang out with. We got to meet them. We got to know, um, you know, hang out with them a little bit more. That kind of stuff. We figured out these are pretty cool guys. And I guess you say that we picked them up. They kind of came and they wanted to play with us. So things got a little bit better. It was it was really easy starting with teams instead of going out and recruiting. Um, and the other reason why is that. People are going to come to your team just for free shit. All right, I'm going to tell you that right now. If you go out and you think that you're going to get sponsored and you're going to be professional um, within a few days, it's not going to happen. This is going to take a very, very, very long time. All right, It's not just going to happen overnight that you're going to have this solid team. It took us like three years to start getting us this far to where we can start playing tournaments and getting into higher levels and actually practicing with some decent teams. It took us a long time to get here and it took us a lot of time to find people that we actually like to play with. It's not a rush. Don't feel rushed that you have to just jump into it, get a bunch of players and go out and play a local tournament. All right, That's fine, but it's going to be much easier if you get the players that you want. The next thing is, is the biggest thing that keep every, try to keep everyone happy, put someone in charge that you guys like. Um, and try to, you know, make everyone happy. Try to make it like one big, you know, like a big vote decision for kind of stuff. Don't have one guy overruling everything um, and just telling everyone that it's going to be this way or, you know, or screw you, you're off the team kind of thing. It's easier when everyone's happy. Um, next thing is if you are going to go recruit, I'd be a little bit careful. You want to look for the players that aren't necessarily always the best. I get not like you don't want the best top end players all the time because if they're going to bring a bad attitude to your team, if they're going to come into your pits and, and tournaments, just say, ah, this gun's broken and this person shot me over here because it was it was my back center's fault. My back center didn't give me any cover fire. Blah blah, and they're just going to start pointing the finger, bringing down lanes because they're the best, and you know they want to blame everything, all the mistakes on everyone else. It's just going to lower team morale. But if, we, if you're with your buddies and you're just out there having a good time, it's a lot different than, you know, going out there with a bunch of, I, I wouldn't necessarily say random, but people that you just kind of met. It's going to be a big difference. You just all want to get along as one happy family. Um, 
just start playing local tournaments when you first start out. Don't think that you're going to go into the big PSP league, that kind of stuff. It's just not going to happen right away. It never does. You're going to have to start very small and work your way up. It's going to take some it's going to take a long time. And if you also start recruiting people, people get unhappy easy because they don't have this sponsorship, they don't have this, they don't have that, and we're not going to this tournament and we're not traveling to Palookaville and I'm not playing in the pro division, that kind of stuff. People are going to get mad. Some people are going to leave. You can't, you know, help everyone out. We have been going for a very long time because we're all friends and we all hang out all the time. It's pretty easy that way. That is the easiest way that I can recommend. Share the expenses. That's, that's another easy way. When you go out and go practice and you go buy a pallet of paint, you know, don't put it all on one guy, obviously. You all have to share the expense. Don't have one guy think that he's gonna that he has to feel entitled to paying everything. Uh, yeah, it sucks for paying for paint, and you can't also have other people getting free rides. When if someone can't pay for paint, that sucks. You can't play in the tournament. Easy as that. You can't be nice to everyone, but at the same time, you kind of want to make everything go smooth and happy. You know, you'll you'll figure a lot out as time goes on. Um, it's just really big trial and error, but. The biggest thing, the biggest tip that I could tell you is before you try to make a team, actually join a few teams. The biggest reason why I could say join a few teams is because you learn what works on that team and what doesn't work. Okay, so you can come into your team and you and you can have an idea of what didn't work on um, that that last team that you were just on. You have an idea of what you how you want to run your team, that kind of stuff. Um, next. You're going to have to travel all the time to other different fields. Try to get exposed. Going to have to practice. Going to have to get your name out. Simple as that. But you always want to be, you always want to have at least one good home field. Okay? You can get good discounts. Try to get a sponsorship through them. That kind of stuff. Try to get to know the people. Try to get sponsored by that store, that, that field. So it makes life a little bit easier. And you can also help out local business and bring it to your field and your store. That's just the biggest tips. I mean, you're going to learn a lot as time goes on and you go to play tournaments and that kind of stuff. It is not easy. Don't rush into it. That's just the biggest tip that I can give you. Don't rush into it. Don't think that it's a big race because you're going to get you're just going to get wrecked. And plain and simple, you're going to get your shit fake. You're just going to get tore up. Okay? It happens all the time. Going to have to practice, 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 practice. No um know your teammates, know your players well. Going to want to communicate on the field. Okay? Just simple stuff um, next thing how to get Raza custom jerseys this is a question that was asked and I thought I'd just tie this into the team thing um, what we did as team and Sandy I, we don't have the banner up but we did a bronze package so we got um, you have to have at least six players um, to order with and you get to pick out whatever design, every, any logo, when you have to make your own logo, but yeah, you can pick out any um, any design that Raza makes on any jersey. We did the TM2 jerseys because that's what comes with the bronze package. What you get is a nice nifty little barrel cover, a headband, these cool vented t-shirts. Like These are like very moisture wicking. They match your jersey. They, match, uh, they, have, they put your logo on there. Um, they're actually very, very vented. You guys probably can't see it. They are very vented. They're moisture wicking. They're they're very light. So if you're playing in like Arizona for you know all the guys that are playing in really, really hot weather, this is very thin. It will hold up, and you won't be sweating your balls off all the time. And then you get your normal main jersey right here. Um, Raza does one of the best works, and they're also they're cheaper, I guess you can say. They have good venting. They have a lot of good padding. Um, their padding is good. It doesn't. You, you still have to have elbow pads. Their half gloves are good. Um, they're nice and padded, so you can get good bounces. It's really just all for bounces. Uh, they have good padding in the um, in the shoulders and elbows, that kind of stuff. Um, you can get your last name and your number and everything else. You have to have at least six people to do it. Um, biggest thing that I can tell you with Raza. The biggest tip that I can give you is that it is going to take a long time. Okay, it took us like, we placed our order in, I think it was like May 1st. I'm pretty sure it was when we put, placed our order. And we got it in the, like the first week of July or something. We got it 
Like, it took them a while to do it. Um, the only thing that I don't like about Raza is that they say that it is um, made in the USA when it says, oh, does it say right here? It says made in Mexico someplace. They say that it's made in the United States, made in Mexico, all right? Yeah, that, I, I don't understand that. They say it's 100% made in the USA. No, it's not, okay? They send it off to uh, Mexico to get it sewn and get it printed and blah, 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 blah. Um, that's one reason why it takes so long is that they ship it elsewhere to get it made, to get it fabricated, that kind of stuff. That's just the biggest thing that it just takes forever for them to do it. Um, they do give you a cool matching headband. I already went over the barrel socket. This is actually a good quality barrel sock right here. It has good elastic. It's not like the stupid, if you guys watch the, like, the reflex rail unboxing, um, it's not like the stupid proto or the, the, the what comes... Um, stock with like the dye stuff it, it's not it's not that uh, bad of quality it's actually really good I like it I these barrel covers are top-notch I guess you can say um, make sure that you have your money ready and you want to order ahead of time if your order right as the offseason comes by if you really want to get custom jerseys as a team make sure that everyone has the money I'd go through Raza for semi custom um, I really wouldn't go fully custom because they'll place your jersey or they'll place your logo on um, any of their designs that they have um, you can go all out and go custom it's a lot more money like fully custom and do your own design and everything if you have someone that's going to do that but you know semi custom was the easiest for us we already had our logo and everything they just placed it on there we, we liked the design boom it was done just like that um, other thing don't be afraid to call them if you have questions. That's the biggest thing that I can tell you with Raza. They have great customer support. That is just the biggest the biggest thing that I like about Raza. Always call them. Just keep on. Just call them, call them, call them, call them, call them, call them. And they will help you every single time. Um, they won't get annoyed with you. Hopefully, I don't think they got annoyed with us. We call them like probably five or six times in one day before. Um, you get your own sales rep and they, you know, they handle your order for you. You get your own artwork person. So it's not like, you know, you call and you get some, you know, random person each time that has no idea what's going on and have to pull up your file. You call and you get um, the same person. You get the same um, art person that's on your jersey. Get the same person. You get the same sales rep. All you need is the extension number. That really, really helped it out until the guy went out of town. That's what sucked. He went out of town for like two weeks. Whatever. Um, the only thing that I can tell you is that they messed up the the um the lettering on my um the lettering and the last name on my jersey. They uh they spelt it wrong when it was clearly spelt right in the uh in the order form. Not sure how you misspell Captain and Williams. Really, I mean I I don't know what country you're from, but you need to learn how to spell Captain and Williams right. It's not that hard. Um. But on that, I mean, Raz is easy to go through. They just take a very, very long time. Um, that's all I can give you. They do good. They do uh, great work. Don't hesitate to go through them. Don't hesitate to call. Hope this guys. Uh, I hope this helps you out. Um, and really, if you're gonna start a team, you're just gonna have to experiment all on your own. It's all gonna come to you slowly. But I hope those few tips helped you out. Upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now. On Sundays, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is like our gameplay, that kind of stuff. Tell us what you want to see. Thanks, guys, for watching. Team Insanity.